We are learning more information now about Colin Brew. He's the former Castleview High School student who died this morning at Northern Arizona University, where he goes to school. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez has been talking to one of Colin's high school lacrosse coaches. And Lance, this just has to be so shocking for everyone there. It's been a very tough day, according to that coach. He told me he not only knew Colin, he knows Colin's father. He says Colin's father is an assistant coach for the same team, and he says he knows Colin's younger brother, who's a part of that team still. He says Colin was the kind of player that the younger players on the team looked up to. Colin was, was one of those kind of kids. He, he had an infectious smile, um, kind of a, a moppy hairdo, and, and that's, that's what I remember about him, you know, just... That, that smiling kid that, that was, was friends with pretty much everybody on the team. Assistant varsity lacrosse coach Mitch Dulick says today is a tough day, especially for the Brew family. I can only guess what they're going through. I know what I'm going through, um, a lot of emotion. Even local residents who don't know the Brew family feel for them after hearing that another Colorado kid lost his life in a school campus shooting. All of these things are so tragic and it's happening so, it seems so frequent these days that I worry about keeping our children safe and even on, in any kind of public situation. Neighbors declined to go on camera, but one told me it's been a horrible morning. Everybody's shocked. Another family friend, Coach Jose Trujillo, told me we need to find a way to fix these things. There has to be an answer. We have a, a fall lacrosse game tomorrow and and we're gonna we're gonna have to address this with with our our team. And I asked Coach Dulick what he's going to tell the team. He said, "I don't know yet." He says, "I've got to get together with Coach Trujillo. We've got to talk about that." Reporting live in Castle Rock, Lance Hernandez, oh, Seven News. I know that is just sickening. Thank you, Lance.